Hi friends, welcome to RLC. In this session, let's discuss DFT as a linear transformation. For that, let's define DFT and IDFT equations. Let's consider the DFT equation where the k range is from 0 to n minus 1 that is k ranging from 0, 1, 2, so on up to n minus 1. Expanding the DFT equation that is expanding the equation that is n is equal to 0, 1, 2, so on up to n minus 1. Expand the summation we get x of k is equal to x of 0 into w n power k into 0 plus x of 1 into w n power k into 1 plus so on the last value will be x of n minus 1 into w n power k into n minus 1 the last n value is n minus 1 so substituting the value of n is equal to n minus in the last sample we will we'll get w n power k into n minus 1 so let this be equation 1 k range is also between 0 to n minus 1 so x of k at k is equal to 0 first x of k at k is equal to 0 we get x of 0 x of 0 substitute k is equal to 0 in equation 1 this is equation 1 substituting k is equal to 0 we get x of 0 is equal to x of 0 into w n power 0 into 0 0 plus x of 1 into w n power 0 into 1 0 plus so on x of n minus 1 into w n power 0 into n minus 1 again 0 this is x of k at k is equal to 0 now substitute x of uh, uh, k is equal to 1 we get x of 1 in equation 1 that is x of 1 is equal to x of 0 into w n power k as 1 1 into 0 0 plus x of 1 into w n power 1 into 1 1 plus so on the last value x of n minus 1 into w n power 1 into n minus 1 is n minus 1 this is x of k at k is equal to 1 next x of k at k is equal to 2 Substitute k is equal to 2 in equation number 1. We get x of 2 is equal to x of 0 into w n power 2 into 0, 0 plus x of 1 into w n power 2 into 1, 2 plus so on. The last sample is x of n minus 1 into w n power 2 into n minus 1. So on expanding uh, the uh, x of k equation, the last sample is x of n minus 1. x of n minus 1 is substitute the value of k as n minus 1 in equation number 1. Now k is n minus 1. So x of 0 into w n power 0 into n minus 1 that is w n power 0 plus x of 1 into w n power n minus 1 into 1 n minus 1 plus so on the last value will be x of n minus 1 into w n power k is n minus 1 n minus 1 into n minus 1 this is the last sample value now we have a system of equations this system of equations can be represented in matrix form let xn small xn be an endpoint vector to represent signal samples in matrix form in matrix form that is x of 0 x of 1 so on the last value of sample is x of n minus 1 where this is of n cross 1 n rows and 1 column an endpoint vector Next, let x of n, capital Xn, be an endpoint vector to represent frequency samples 
capital Xn represents frequency samples given by x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, so on. The last sample value, frequency sample value is x of n minus 1. Again, this is an endpoint vector with n rows and one column and a twiddle factor values that is Wn matrix. For Wn matrix, it is an n cross n matrix. It is an n cross n matrix given by W n power 0. First row is W n power 0. All values are W n power 0s. So on the last value is again W n power 0. Second row W n power 0, W n power 1. So on the last sample value is W n power n minus 1. So on the last row of a twiddle factor matrix will be W n power 0, W n power n minus 1. So on the last value will be W n power n minus 1 into n minus 1. This is an n cross n matrix. This is a square matrix, n cross n matrix. Using this system of vectors, DFT equation can be represented as first let me write DFT equation given by x of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into w n power k n. Now we have three vectors. For the first one, small x n represents signal samples. which is an n cross 1 matrix. The capital Xn represents the vector for frequency samples. Again, which is n cross 1 matrix. The third matrix is a square matrix. It is a twiddle factor matrix. Twiddle factor matrix. It is a square matrix. Now, using these vectors, the DFT equation can be represented as X capital Xn is equal to Xn small xn into W raised to n which is the form of DFT. Let this be equation number 2. DFT equation can be represented using this form by using this system of vectors. Now where Wn, Wn is a twiddle factor matrix and it is a square matrix. If you observe the values in the square matrix, it is a symmetric matrix. Symmetric in the sense, if we take the transpose of the matrix, the system remains same. So it is said to be a linear transformation matrix. The matrix Wn, twiddle factor matrix, is said to be linear transformation matrix. It is symmetric in nature. If you take the transpose, you will get back the same matrix. So now, if we take the inverse on both sides, twiddle factor inverse, that is, if we uh, multiply Wn power minus 1 on both sides of e to equation 2, we get Wn power minus 1 Xn on the left hand side is equal to Xn Wn into Wn power minus 1. This is inverse. Now, Wn raised to minus 1 Xn is equal to xn because wn into wn raised to minus 1 inverse and its matrix value is 1 it becomes an identity matrix so xn can be written as xn is equal to 1 over n wn conjugate into xn this is the idft equation say that this be equation number 1 where Wn raised to minus 1 is nothing but 1 over n into Wn conjugate. Wn star is called the conjugate matrix of the twiddle factor Wn. Using system of vectors, DFT expression is given as and IDFT expression is given as now 
where wn inverse the inverse of twiddle factor matrix can be represented as w inverse is equal to 1 over n into wn conjugate this equation can be written as n into wn inverse is equal to wn conjugate now let's multiply twiddle factor matrix wn on both sides both sides we get wn into n wn power minus 1 is equal to wn conjugate into wn now on the left hand side the multiplication of a matrix and its inverse will give an identity matrix so the left hand side becomes n into i n is equal to wn conjugate into wn where i n is an n cross n matrix it is an identity matrix n cross n identity matrix so with this we can say that and uh, total factor matrix and its inverse will give an identity matrix so dft is said to be a linear transformation what is linear transformation if we have a total factor matrix of wn we can obtain its inverse matrix the inverse and the total factor matrix will give an identity matrix of n point vector so dft is said to be a linear transformation hi guys if you have enjoyed the learning subscribe to our channel and share to your all friends and well wishers for regular updates connect us on social media thank you for watching the video